The U.S. Army, a force known for its land prowess, holds a well-kept secret. It has its own navy. With 67-ton Abrams tanks and 40-ton Bradley infantry vehicles, the Army faces a challenge when it comes to crossing large bodies of water. But what if I told you that the solution to this problem has been around since World War II? Enter Army Watercraft Systems, a double USA hidden gem within the US military. It turns water obstacles from barriers into opportunities, creating a miniature Navy for the Army. The fleet consists of 132 ships, including frigate-sized logistics support vessels, landing craft capable of transporting tanks and powerful tugs. And the soldiers manning these vessels? They proudly call themselves Army Mariners. The backbone of the Army's naval fleet is the General Frank S. Besson-class logistics support vessels each the size of a Navy frigate. These giants can haul up to 2,000 tons, equivalent to 21 M1 Abrams tanks over 5,000 miles. The Army's naval fleet also includes the maneuver support vessel, light, replacing Vietnam-era vessels, and landing craft utility vessels capable of transporting troops and equipment into challenging areas. But how does the Army use its naval fleet? Picture this. U.S. Army forces advancing in Korea, encountering stiff resistance. The solution? An air assault over the Yellow Sea, supported by ships like the LCU-2000 and MSVL. Or imagine the need to reinforce the island of Gotland in the Baltic Sea. Besson-class logistics, support vessels, transport striker infantry combat vehicles, providing a unique Army maneuver while the Navy and Marine Corps handle a separate joint operation. So, the next time you think of the U.S. Army, remember, it's not just a ground force. It's a force with a hidden Navy, ready to navigate the world's challenges, no matter the terrain.